So we have a really cool tutorial today. We'll be creating glowing animations that you can composite on top of footage inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I love doing a little bit of VFX even though this is kind of like motion graphics married to compositing. And that's essentially what it is. So we're gonna be able to take the outline of any type of object and composite it into your footage so you can do like maybe some accent motion graphics or you can actually take a real you know outline of an object and put it into your footage so that's what we're doing in this tutorial and let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and let's get started so we're going to create two different types of outline strokes one for objects and one just an abstract accent motion graphic so first we'll do objects so if we want to say outline a specific object or a person or whatever uh, it's very easy to do this. So what we'll do is grab the pen tool here at the top and then once that pen tool is selected, click on the word fill, set it to none, click OK, and click on the word stroke, make sure it's set to solid color, click OK, um, and you can use any stroke color you want, I'm just going to use white, and just go ahead and click a point and start outlining around the object that you want to, you know, do this animation around. And you can, you know, create a little bit of a bezier curve, whatever you need to do. And by any means, this is not perfect. And the nice thing about this effect, it doesn't have to be 100% per perfect, but if you want to perfect it, you know, just tighten up that mask is going to look great. So once you have your outline in here, it's just there, you know, it's okay. So let's go ahead and add a few things to this to really make this pop. And we'll go ahead and open up the shape layer, go to add, and we can add a trim paths to this. And we can open the trim paths and you can animate the end and start if you want. You can see we can do that. What I'm just going to do is bring down the end by a little bit and add a keyframe for offset. Go to the end of our animation, I'll just say five seconds, and I can just, you know, adjust the offset. So now, this will be moving like this, and that's cool. We can also make this follow an object very easily, so you can use like a 3D camera tracker if you want to do that. But simply on sm simple objects like this, we can just hit S on our keyboard for scale and hit Shift P to bring up position. We can add a keyframe for both of these, and we can move forward to the end of our timeline and just, you know, move this over and scale it down if we need to. All right, so this is good enough, and then we really need to make this stand out, so it's all gonna come together with some glow effects. So we'll go to Effect, Stylize, and we'll add glow. And one thing I'm gonna do is go to Glow Color, set to A and B colors, and set the color loop into Sawtooth B greater than A. This is a really cool technique for glow effects. And we come here to uh, Color A, and we can change this to any color we want. And it's really important that the uh, stroke is actually gonna be white in this case, so any other color, and this technique doesn't really work, so make sure that stroke is white. And we can you know, increase the glow intensity just by a little bit, maybe to two. Then we'll duplicate this effect by going to Edit, Duplicate. So we'll have a copy of this effect. And in this case, we'll increase the glow radius to maybe about 60, and that's fine. Then we'll go to Effect, Blur, and Sharpen. And we're going to add a CC Radial Fast Blur. And go to Zoom, set this to Brightest. And let's bring the amount down to maybe like 15. And you know, that just adds an extra glow to it. Then we can just duplicate our glow again. And this time we'll put this glow underneath the radial fast blur. And we'll increase the glow radius to maybe like 200 or so. And one thing we can do is toggle switch the modes until we see the blend mode here. And we can set this to add or screen, wherever one looks best. But this will change the blend mode a little bit and just make this a little bit of a nicer composite. So now we have a very simple glowed outline of our object here. Now let's say we want to add just our own graphics to this just to add a little bit more you know, detail to things because maybe we don't want to you know create too much outlines around objects we just want to be abstract. Very easy to do things like this so for example we can just grab the pen tool and we can just draw out like a randomly curved path and let's just say that's fine you can do whatever path you want. Same thing as before we'll open this up we'll go to add and we'll add a trim paths and we'll set the end percent to zero percent we'll add a keyframe for it and we'll move forward by, I don't know, a few frames, add a keyframe for start. We'll go to the end towards our animation here, maybe like four seconds or so, and set the end percent to 100% and set the start to 100% as well. So now we have this small line animating in here and we can move the start keyframe over if we want to make the line a little bit longer. And then we'll make all these keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Now, as before, we'll just go ahead and copy all of our glow effects and the blur paste it onto our new layer and now we have our stylized glow in here we can adjust the stroke size obviously if you want to make it thicker or a little bit skinnier so really up to you all right and here's what we have and we just have a nice animated glow line in there and of course make sure to set that blend mode to add 
and you can see that blends really nice depending on what part of the you know image you're using so like obviously over the window it's nice and bright over darker areas it's a little bit more stand out and of course if you're into after effects and motion graphics one pack that i suggest that you take a look at is called create pack which has like you know 3600 plus elements and within this pack there's these animated line elements like sunglasses and a lot of other creative objects with the same idea of this tutorial but specifically there are these animated lines that we just created that you can automatically apply to any project file so for example i can find something i like here let's say i want this animation here i can just apply it and it automatically adds it in here and then simply i can just change our color and then just reapply our glow effects and now we have another animated object easily in here and within this pack there's also more than just line there's obviously pre-made titles lower thirds backgrounds transitions shape elements and a ton of other graphics consisting of this 3600 pack. It's kind of like the one pack fits all your projects. If you want to learn more about Create Pack, I'll drop that link in the description. There's also a free trial available for it where you get like 200 elements. So if you're interested, be sure to check that out. So now you should have the opportunity to create glowing outline animations that you can composite on top of your footage. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and a lot of fun to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials like this every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.